this is my rig running on a BTC S37 motherboard from AliExpress. As you can see, I'm running Octopus and getting 45 mega hashes with a GeForce RTX 3060 limited hash rate graphics card. The system that I'm using is one that came as a package and comprises the BTC S37 8 GPU motherboard. Now it's identifiable by the blue PCIe ports. Um, what's most noticeable about the S37 over the D or the T37s is the spacing between the two ports. Um, the T has a 50 millimeter gap, the D has a 60 millimeter gap, and this one, the S, has a 65 millimeter gap. So as you come across the larger graphics cards, you'll see that the spacing will make all the difference. <clears throat> now this motherboard came with an M2 SATA drive, which is 128 gigs or thereabouts, um, which is ample to run Windows. I chose to run Windows 10 on this one. It also comes with eight gigs of notebook RAM. The processor underneath this is a simple Celeron 1037 series graphics card. Um, now you'll notice that this is sitting on a box. Inside the box is a really big 1800 watt power supply. Um, the reason it's in the box is because the thing sounds like a hurricane. It's really loud. It has two fans and it's twice the size of a regular ATX power supply. Um, so I've adapted this to block out as much noise as I can. Um, I think when I first ran it, the, the power supply in the open was running at about 65 or 70 decibels. It was really, really loud. Um, and you certainly couldn't talk over it like I am now. You had to yell. Um, I've designed the internals of the box in such a way that I have an inlet port for air that sucks the air in. And at the far side, there's an outlet port. And it's the only way for the air to enter and exit. And it is really effective. It's working really well to the point that it's 20 degrees in this room and the probe with the door shut says it's 22.6 inside the box. Typically it sits two to two and a half degrees above the ambient temperature in the room. Um, I have the, the, the mining frame for the motherboard and it's not a great fit. Very few of the holes actually line up. Um, and as a matter of fact, I've actually got these just sitting on motherboard uh, case clips. It actually does slide around quite freely right now. And it's not a problem. There's no metal to metal contact. So I don't actually need the frame as it is. I can literally push those clips into the box and it will sit quite happily. But what I want to do is I've got a set of risers coming and I want to raise the graphics card up and use these fans that are there. Um, the thing does run incredibly cool. Um, and as you can hear, it's rather quiet. I've got this down in the box uh, running at, at this distance from it, it's 40 decibels. If I go three to four meters away, it drops to 35 decibels, which is crazily quiet. Um, and considering that I'm just speaking in a regular voice right now, um, you're only really hearing it, I think, when it uh, 
when I stop speaking and, and the uh, microphone starts picking it up. I've been running this for about two weeks non-stop um, and it is collecting quite a bit of uh, crypto. I'm converting everything into through nice hash into Bitcoin. Um, now this has run, been running for just under two days uh, since I cashed out. Um, it's averaging about 7,000 or so Satoshis a day. Um, so this next payout in just over an hour will push me over 14,000 since Saturday night. It is now Monday night. Um, as we can see, it is hashing very, very nicely. Um, I've tried it on Cowpow, I've tried it on eHash, and with NB Miner's LHR68 adjustment, I can get about 30 mega hashes before it locks out, maybe 31. Um, with Cowpow, with the overclock, um, I can get maybe 24 mega hashes. Um, but I'm finding that Octopus is easily the most consistent and profitable right now um, algorithm that is running uh, for me. Um, and as you can see, I'm only using 127 watts of power where this card will run by default at 170. Um, I've got the fan at 67%, which is letting it run at 53 degrees. So um, it's nowhere near hot by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not even taxing the fan. Um, and as you can see, my efficiency is around 360 kilo hashes per watt. So I'm really happy with that. As far as the um, my settings go, for the overclock, where are we? We go to afterburner. And you'll see that my voltage is not set at all. My power limit is at 75%. My core clock is at 199. I've deliberately set that below 200 because it seems to crash every now and then if I go to 200. The memory clock is at 1300 and I've got my fan speed manually set to 67 percent and that seems like it's quite a happy uh, arrangement as far as the driver goes I'm running 466.27 I think there are two or three since this one um, but I'm not confident that Nvidia won't mess things up and start locking out other uh, algorithms besides ETHash. So I'm sticking with what I know works and I'm not upgrading until it's been shown that the that NVIDIA haven't been messing around. Um, there's been very little data on YouTube about these particular video uh, motherboards, sorry. Um, and it seems like a very simple thing. Um, I haven't really had to change anything in the BIOS. Um, the only thing I will state that the the, the MSATA drive did come completely unformatted, so you will need to use something like Rufus on a USB drive uh, with win with a Windows to make a Windows installer. Um, once you've done that, it'll run really smoothly. Um, I did use Win. I did do Windows 7, but because there is no more support for it, um, I was finding that things were outdated and just not working properly. So I upgraded this system to Windows 10, and it has been smooth as silk. The only thing I've had to do was disable antivirus or the, the stupid bloody thing that Windows uses. Um, and uh, because a lot of these hashing programs get detected as viruses um, or malicious software. So I had to do a lot of exceptions to folders um, 
and then eventually I just turned it off. I got sick of it. Um, I don't run anything besides uh, this software and a browser, um, and obviously Afterburner. So the only things that I'm running are directly related to the mining on this system. Um, the firewall is still active, um, but beyond that, um, it's a very simple system that I'm running, um, and I keep as much drive space free as possible for whatever the, the system needs to use it for. Um, it's very stable, I will say that. Um, I haven't had any crashes, blue screens of death, black screens of death, any screens of death um, since I've been running it. Um, and it turns, yeah, like I said, it turns over about 7,000 Satoshis a day with one card. And like I said, this is the hash rate limited one. Um, funny enough, the Zotac box said nothing about it being hash rate limited. Um, it wasn't until I actually went to install the driver, the older drivers refused to work. Um, and my understanding was that NVIDIA had required that any of these licensed partners dis display that they're hash rate limited and Zotac haven't done it. But obviously, you know, new, new current model cards are going to have that limitation. Um, I hope this helps people to make decisions as to whether they're going to go ahead with these things. They do work. Um, in the next week or so, hopefully I'll have a second card coming. And when that does, I'll post another vid to show hash rates on both cards at the same time to show whether or not, to show whether or not that multiple ports will support multi, uh, high hash rate. Good luck.